Hello everyone, we are final year biotechnology students from CBIT. In this video, we are going to narrate about a major project titled as production of exopolysaccharides from novel microorganisms. Our guide is Dr. Bishwamba Mishra, Assistant Professor, Department of Biotechnology, CBIT. What are exopolysaccharides? Exopolysaccharides are high molecular weight polymers that are composed of sugar residues and are secreted by microorganisms into the surrounding environment. They can be intracellular polysaccharides, structural polysaccharides and extracellular polysaccharides. They can be bacterial, algal or fungal origins besides being synthetic polysaccharides. Here are few examples of EPS. Chitosin, pululin, dextin, xanthin, hyaluric acid, lavin, alginate, cellulose are some of them. Properties of exopolysaccharides. They are biocompatible, non-toxic, they have high tensile strength, gel forming ability and are water insoluble. They are stable over wide temperatures. They have various applications in various fields. Some of them are in food. They are used to improve texture, flavor of the food and improve the mouthfeel. Example, Listen Mouthwash is a commercially available product. EPS are also used in biodegradable packaging of food. In pharmaceuticals, they are used in purification of enzymes for diagnosis purposes. They are used as blood volume expanders and are used in chemical modifications of the trucks. In industries, they can be used as lubricants in dye and pigment substances. In dairy, they can be used as stabilizers, gelling agents to improve the elasticity. In cosmetics, they have emerging applications in anti-aging creams. In addition to these, they are used with antiviral, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory substances in biomedical fields. The objectives of our work To screen and isolate potential EPS producing microorganisms To characterize EPS obtained To optimize the process parameters such as time, pH and RPM Here is the outline of our project execution First we have screened microorganisms from the samples We have isolated and identified a potential strain Followed by the production of EPS in the fermentation media The produced EPS was characterized Finally, the physical parameters were optimized. The procedure began with collection of the leaves from the surrounding environment in the sterile manner and they are soaked in sterile distilled water for 3 to 5 days. After the soaking procedures, 2 ml of each sample water is mixed and aseptically transferred to basal media for growth of microorganisms. After 5 days, the culture broth was obtained. Pore plating was done for bacterial growth. After pore plate techniques, few parts of the selected plates were scraped off and inoculated in nutrient media for further growth, followed by quadrant seeking to obtain pure cultures. The potential stain was inoculated in the fermentation media, followed by centrifugation and precipitation of the sample. Here are the 16 plates of quadrant staking. Out of the 16 plates, the 4 plates which show desired morphology were selected. The selected stains were inoculated in individual fermentation media. 5 ml of sample was taken and centrifuged in 7000 rpm for 10 minutes and precipitated with twice the volume of ethanol. The precipitation was observed indicating the production of EPS and this was compared with control. Here are the images showing drying of all precipitates of the samples individually. The table shows more amount of EPS was produced in the sample named KMA whose dry weight was 1.30 mg per 100 ml. Therefore, the KMA sample was selected for further optimization procedures. These are the microscopic observation of isolated samples KMA, KMB, followed by KMC and KMD. Moving on to the molecular characterization, 16S RRNA partial genome sequencing was done to selective chain KMA. Amplification was done by PCR. Amplified PCR product was subjected to electrophoresis and visualized under ethereum bromide. The bands obtained are shown in this picture. This is 
this they obtained 16 srrna sequence of isolated strain it was identified to be close to staphylococcus lugdunensis a gram positive bacteria with the obtained rrna sequence we have constructed phylogenetic tree using multiple sequence analysis of other strains which showed 90 to 100% similarity here is information about the sequence published our strain was accepted as new one with accession number mt560382 now the comparison of production of eps versus time and days it was observed from individual values that the production was increasing maximum till fifth day and decreased after that this can be due to the bacteria turning that phase and accumulation of waste products now with the optimization of time there is adjusting ph of the medium as shown in this bar graph the production was maximum at ph 6 rpm is another parameter to optimize on consideration of selected samples the production was greatly supported at 200 rpm which might be due to the proper aeration and agitation rate at that condition here is the part of interpretation of ftir results the table has the information about the corresponding bond strength and tentatively eps a was found to be similar to pulolin to conclude four of all the strains have potential to produce eps maximum amount of eps was produced by strain kma as per the microscopic examination and sequencing kma was identified to be staphylococcus lugdunensis it was found to be a growth associated product formation by ftir it was found that eps produced by strain kma was pulolin the optimized conditions in this experiment are ph 6 200 rpm and fifth day of production for completion of our project we thank dr y rajesh shri dr bishwambhar mishra dr nagendra nath reddy and dr arun along with all other teaching and non teaching staff our department for their cooperation and support throughout the semester hope you like our work and thank you for watching